In this tutorial, uh, I will look into horizontal layouts. So instead of absolute positioning of, um, of things, um, it's like a layout that automatically adds your widgets in the horizontal direction. So let's import a little bit of stuff. We import these two. And going to create a layout right now. This is just the, the basic window code, right? Doesn't have anything in it. So we define a layout. Few Xbox layouts. And add some widgets to the layout. So just paste those right here. Simple push buttons. And don't actually need to connect the events. So add these lines, add like some widgets to this layout. And finally you set the layout. Uh, hold on. We also need a, a group box. Okay, so we add a group box and the layout and then we will add the layout to this group box. Now if we run this code, I'm not quite sure yet. Nothing's happening yet. In this case it's not a widget, so we could have a dialogue or something else. Need to import that as well. And you'll notice that you see an empty window. And so let's have a look. We had our buttons and we set a call the show function as well. Finally, we also would need to, to add this uh, to add it to the window, right? So these kinds of code, another layout in which we add the, the group box. The group box is set to that layout. So run it again, and notice that we need an import. So we're going to import that. Run it again, and now we'll have a horizontal layout. So every widget you add is added in the horizontal direction. Direction. Uh, you might prefer it to an absolute positioning, but uh, it's like this gives you less control over the window. So when you use absolute position, you have total control over where every widget should be located. In this case, it just sets in horizontal direction.